Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a menu such as this that opens when someone clicks on it, as opposed to having a menu up here at the top that lists everything out that they can see all the time. So a menu that hides when you click on it or opens when you click on it. So let's head over on over to your homepage of your website and make sure that we're editing the header section. The header section is going to be a site canvas that's going to be found on every single page of your website. So first thing that we're gonna do is add a menu button. Label this menu. I'm going to go over here to center the menu button. And then I'm going to go over to the left-hand side and click Add Canvas View. And then I'm going to put this menu button into the Canvas View. And then I'm going to duplicate the Canvas View so that the menu button is still going to be in the second Canvas View. But now the second Canvas View is where we are going to be editing the open menu look and feel. So I'm going to be adding in a rectangle here to put behind the menu button. Let's make this a different color. Um, let's do five. And then I'm going to put this behind the text. Okay. And then I'm going to add in a little line in here to just kind of separate it a little bit. And I'm going to make the line smaller by going to size and position. Okay. And then I'm going to start adding in whatever uh, menu items that I want in here. So we can have the home page about blog contact. Let's just start with those. And then I'm going to center these here. And then I'm just going to make sure that everything is centered in the group like so and clean everything up. Um, let's make these a different color and let's make this line a blue color. Okay, so now that everything is all centered up, this is where you wanna start linking people to go to these different pages. So if you wanna link them to go to the homepage, you would click, um, scroll over the homepage and then click this create link button and then click a page and then click the homepage, click save, and then go about and do these for all of um, the buttons that you wanna do. So for the about page, you click this again, click page, and then obviously the about page would be listed right here. I'll just do the blog page for right now. Um, to edit how the links look, because I don't want them underlined like this, I'm gonna go down here to the inline links option and highlight everything and then click no underline, no underline, and then change it back to that color that I had it set on that I wanted it to be at. If you wanted um, like a hover option so that when people hovered over the home page or the home button or the about button, you could go down here, do hover custom. I like to do something like, you know, 70, 60% opacity. So when someone hovers over it, it um, the opacity goes down a little bit. So that's how you set up those click buttons. And then to get rid of the menu, so if someone has it open and they wanna close it, I'm gonna set this menu button right here to close. So click actions, I'm going to go um, to canvas, this canvas, and then do the previous view. And then I'm gonna uncheck these cause I don't like when it does the scroll to canvas button there. Um, so that's on view two. So these buttons should all be working. We're gonna go back to view one and make sure um, that view one button is gonna work. So we're gonna go to click actions, again, go to canvas, this canvas, and then go, to, oops, go to the next canvas. Right here, you can also choose view two if you wanted to. Um, I only have two canvases in here, so it's not a big deal if I did next or previous on here. So that's it. So let's go and check this out by pressing the preview button. 
and then we're going to click menu and these are all going to be here you'll notice the opacity is changing like i said what i did with the hover over effect and then i'm going to click menu again and it's going to disappear and that's it thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you have any other video suggestions for me